Hey guys, how's it going? So we're talking about the lawn that we seeded without using a top dressing. Hey guys, how are you doing? So today we are scarifying aerating and the customer has bought a bag of seed and asked that I just put the seed down for him. Now I'm putting the seed down completely free. Um, it shouldn't take too long to do, but there's gonna be no top dressing, nothing to cover the seeds up. So there is a risk of birds heavy rain and wind from washing it all away. Can you just put seed down and will it germinate? Can you just throw seed straight down on the ground? So we came here, you remember the property? Don't want to give too much away just yet, but that's the property. Look at that lawn there. Now that had a bit of protection, but this lawn was in complete shade and it was nearly all moss. Moss, look at the moss. It's absolutely snided with moss. So we threw some seeds down. It was the customer's own grass seeds. And we wondered how much of it would germinate. So what we did to improve the germination, we used the roller and we used the roller to press the seeds into the soil. So at least some of them would germinate because they are touching soil. What we don't have was anything on the top. There was no dressing. So there was no protection from birds. There was no protection from heavy rain or wind. But as you can see, a good amount of those grasses have actually come through. It isn't perfect. And this is why we always say, try and cover your seeds when you are doing a lawn, when you're doing your renovation. Scarify aerate, overseed and top dress. So we've had some success. And what, basically, it's just a little thin in places because the rain has washed some of the seeds to the sides. But we do have grass. We do have grass, but it's thinner than what I would have liked. And this was the worst part. And it is in shade, so it could improve even further still. But if we come down to the right level, there is a fair chunk of grass there. But as you walk over it, even though there is even grass, it is thin. And this is the problem. So yes, you can get results. Now I want to add also that you can cover with a fleece. I've just covered a fleece with fleece on my own lawn and it's made a massive, massive difference. Fleecing protects the seeds. Okay, it protects from heavy wind blowing them around. It protects from rain washing the seeds around. It protects from birds getting to the seeds. As long as you put the water in, the seeds are gonna germinate and come up. And that's all there is to it. You've gotta cover your seeds, protect those seeds. So I just wanna show you the rest of the lawn, see how it's come along. Remember this part of the lawn was the worst. This was nearly all bare soil. And bare soil is easy for the seeds to blow around and wash around because there's not a lot of other grasses protecting the seeds. So they tend to move a lot. But we did our best, we rolled it in. And the seeding was actually free. It was the customer's own seeds. So let me show you around the rest of the lawn now. Okay, this was just scarified and aerated and it's come back pretty good. Like pretty good even this section of the lawn where the customer tends to step out and onto the lawn it is a little bit thin but it is recovering nicely but overall we haven't even fertilized this yet but we've got a nice sea of green so i'm going to take you around to the back have a look at the back lawn and see how that one's looking now this was pretty brown from the heavy scarifying so I'm hoping, and I think the central part was the worst, I'm hoping that we have some nice recovery action going on. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That is good. I can't expect any more than that.
think this is probably six weeks, something like that. And we always say, actually, lawns take around six weeks to fully recover. And that's if they're getting some rain on. Yes, it's dry. It's dry in places. But how many people actually water the lawn as much as they should? We go around, we pick all the bits up before we treat it. But overall, we've got ants there. And overall, it's looking all right. Once we get the fertiliser on, this is going to green up even further. Okay. I'm really pleased because this central section was heavily scarified. So it just goes to show your lawns will recover. It takes around six weeks. Keep watering to speed up the recovery process. But yes, you can seed a lawn by just throwing seed down on the ground. And some of it will germinate and some of it won't. That is the price you pay for um, not top dressing and not covering the seeds. So remember, you scarify, you aerate, you overseed, you cover with a thin layer of compost or soil, or you can use fleece. That is the best way. And if you roller it all in, it presses everything in, so it's all nestled in to the soil, and we get good germination rates. But overall, I'm really happy with the results. So I'm going to chalk that up as another success. So once again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate a thumbs up. It mean the world to me. Subscribe as well. You want to see more stuff like this? You want a nice lawn, don't you? Press that subscribe button and I will get more videos like this to you. You just get a little ding, a little notification that Lawn Rights put a new video up. Ding. Lawn Rights done a new video. I want to help you. How can I help you? If you don't know the video is there so that's all you've got to do it's not asking you for a 10 pound a month subscription or anything like that but uh it's just there to help you get a better lawn so thanks for watching any questions comments down below and uh we'll see you guys in the next one